Okay, well, we're back. <clears throat> Seems like I'm gonna go down the hill and up the hill, because that's the shortest way out, according to the map. And I've had enough. Been out here in the sun, it's getting hot. And I've got stuff poking me in the back from my backpack with no frame. And the hiking trails are getting too steep to walk on. So we'll just take this veer off instead of going straight down. We'll go this way. Take a couple more steps, but it'll be safer. Still got loose gravel here, loose rocks, marbles, but it's not 90 degrees straight down. It is down, which is great. We don't have to go straight up and down no more. Put the camera away. There's the last couple videos here. I don't think anybody's watching them ever anyway. And we're just gonna walk right on out of here. Down these trails. And we're gonna, our goal is to get up to where that white sign is over there. Cross over the top of that hill. That should take us right down into the water towers and out. Well, that saved us that hill climb, that's good. And we gotta walk down here a little bit further. To go down some more. Uh, too bad they didn't cut another trail to zigzag on down. Don't look like they did. This isn't too bad to walk though. But, you never know, all this loose sand could become marbles too. But I've got some traction shoes on. And we'll see if we can get the heck out of here. Bicycle, this would be easy. You just let gravity do the work. It's over there, it's gonna kill. But for walking, you gotta control your descent and your climb. So we're descending down and then we're gonna go back up. Hey, flowers in the road, look at that. <laughs> right in front of where we're walking. Pretty little suckers to handle all the traffic going over them. Look at that, it's pretty. All the wind moving them plants, trees, whatever they are, bushes, grass. Yeah, I really should be out of here by now. I still couldn't find that fire, that bothers me. Because I was checking the map, or the, the map when I was taking my break, and it said, the Hog Valley Trail, the Hog Valley Road, the Hog Valley area where we're at. Was where the fire was. Oh, I guess I, mis I misunderstood the news. That's okay, it gave me a reason to go for a walk. Get all this video and... It's a butterfly. Get these photos taken, which I'm thinking that the, I don't know yet which way I'm going with the putting the photos on the on the videos in the videos where I took them. Or just post them all on the blog and make everybody go to my website to see them. Might be fun to do it both ways. I don't know. Figure that out. I got a long time to edit them. I got almost 
two weeks to get them, get this figured out. So I can get the photos edited and cleared and punished and clean all the, the junk off of the out of the photo and then stick them up. And my damn microphone keeps sinking again. Thought I was getting rid of that. Thought I was getting rid of that by putting the strap on. And we're going up that way. So we're down here. We'll take the bike path up. Something there. I don't know what that was, but something trash like. Been pulverized in the on down here. Let's go up the bike trail, the foot trail. They put it here for a reason, let's use it. Yeah, that feels better. Grasshopper, flew away. So, I'll have to put something in the description to tell everybody that we got photo taken. We've taken photos in some of these videos. Oh well, I don't think anybody's watching them anyway. I know the footpath went the wrong way. That's okay. So we gotta decide. Oh, no decision. I was gonna say, we gotta decide if we wanna go that way or that way. We go that way, we're gonna go down the valley and have to climb up that side over there, which is like this one, only worse. So we're going this way. This is short, sweet. Should have just stayed on the road. Boy, that wind feels good. It's time to be off the off the hill and in the house. It's probably in the 90s now. I'm not gonna check. I'm just gonna focus on getting up this hill. This is the way the map wants me to go. Still green up here. Uh, mid part of July early part of July. Boy, that's ripping now. Well, that feels good. Look at it go. Look at the bush. It's ripping now. We're about halfway up this thing already. Look at that pretty red rock. Another one right over there. It's probably a good photo, but I'm not getting the camera out for that. We'll come back in and do it again. About a month. I'm gonna take what money I got. My wallet. Trash is still here. And go do the river walk. We'll do downtown for a couple days.
a couple videos. At least down there I can refill my bottles. If I overdone it, I can get the bus right there. Get home. Get back. Okay, this is going to be relatively flat until we go around this corner up here. Then we're going to end up over there if I don't trip over rocks. Boots are getting heavy. There's where water was running off. Probably all ended up over in that lake. Over that way. The way you're looking. Just keep looking that way. And you'll see it when we cross the ridge, maybe. Maybe behind that green hill. Swan Lake, that's where it all ended up at. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it. So we're going to go here, and we're not going to go that way, we're going to go this way. We're going to make the three miles back to the where we started at, and we'll call it good. we got to walk back through that low income area, so we'll, we'll probably make the last video, take this last video to the, to the edge. Then pick it up, we get down, stop it, and then pick it up until we get down to the, when we get down to the storage locker area. And then just kind of hike on back up to where we started, call it good, and I can go get out of the heat. And then I can put videos up for you guys. Go get them all edited and cleaned up and get all the vulgar language taken out of them. Find me a frog to put over that. We're not running a CBS channel. I don't understand why all my videos aren't making them into Rumble either. Because you get two, three, part one, part two, go over there, but... For a while they were doing all the videos, now they're just doing part of them. I guess I'm filling up my Rumble thing. They're all 4K, maybe Rumble's not taking them because they're too big. may have to put them on Rumble myself directly. The way I know they're up there is to letting Rumble and YouTube work it out. They're not making it. All of them. The last time we were here, I think it was the last video, even, and we were up here on the hill. We couldn't decide if we wanted to go that way or that way. We walked that way for a little bit and ended up coming back this way. Well, I know which way I'm going out today. That way. It's a steep down climb, but it'll get us out of here. It'll give me enough videos, enough boring videos, to uh, do uh, finish off the year, month. Not the year. I wish we had enough videos to finish off the year. Stay six, seven weeks ahead is what I'd like to do. The way to do that would be to make videos every waking minute of the day.
and put them up. Yeah, I was just washing Battleship over the weekend. I'm just glad I'm not walking in Hawaii on the mountain with an alien invasion right now. That could be a bad place to be. I think the views are turning pretty good up here still. It's almost the same thing, but the grass is changing colors. Yeah, I was trying to get me a, a model to come out here and do photos with me. Some place like right in here would be great. With the city in the background. And no, we're not going up the hill around the power lines. We've done that in one of the videos. If you want to see what that looks like, go find it. But yeah, this would be a great place to put a model. Go up there on top of the hill. Or up there where the red rocks are at. Stick that in the background. Could probably stick that in the background with a camera. Just bring it up here and take the photo. Then use a green screen in a studio. Right now I don't have any studios. I'm trying to find a way to get one. It could be lots of fun. We already put in loans and requests and grant requests and everything I can think of to get help to do that. Put in a photography studio. Instead of worrying about walk-ins, put in a magazine or something, get a couple writers, editors, make a magazine. And uh, publish that sucker and you know so I want to buy the old Reno Gazette Journal building. They've got all the presses all the paper plants and here's the hill I don't want to climb down but we're going down it and we're going to go over those water towers and call it a day if we'd have went around the ridge we'd have still been coming here anyway so the way we went was perfect. So now I gotta work my way down this. How are we doing on time? We got plenty of time. So I don't wanna walk till I kill myself this time. I'm gonna walk down this. My legs are still feeling pretty good. I'm not dead and tired. You know, I've been out here longer. I've done more mileage just not rubber leg time yet which is good I don't want to come out here with rubber and try to leave here with rubber legs I know we did better than six miles today probably did ten or more the pedometer says I did a mile but I don't think it was counting the whole time So I'm taking it easy going down this thing because of uh, the loose gravels and stuff here because of vehicles coming up and down this thing and it's uneven ground anyway and my right ankle's not liking it being uneven ground I gotta get money to get in the gym and I don't have it I tried the money making games and they don't have it one more I want to try but those things run down your phone battery and they never pay. At least they have them for me. Okay. See how steep this sucker is? That's pretty steep. It don't look like it, but if I hold the camera right here, if I hold it here, you can see, but if I hold it right here, you'll see it when we get out down. It's probably the better place to see it. I just don't want to go skiing, trying to ski on dirt down. It'll end up on my butt again. Remind me to cut that piece out of the thing too. Probably cut the the uh, trespassing sign out too.
Yeah. There we go, look at that. Starting to see the civilization again. Yeah, well, there's a car and a truck over there. So this must be other hikers or motor bikers or something up there. Or the bikers that I run into earlier. And yeah, I won't cut them out. They're up here too. Just like when I get down downtown Reno, I'm not gonna cut everybody down there out either. So we made it down there. And then we're gonna go down this one instead of going that way and going out that way. Could, but I don't want to. Ooh, out the normal way we normally go out. Getting up here has been different trails. We've hiked, we hiked today, we hiked part of Hog Valley, we hiked part of Keystone, part of all the trails up here. Plus, we were on Peavine Road, headed for, you know, away from the top. Right over there is where I want to be. It's getting hot and I don't want to be on the hill no more. I want to be home before five. I've got plenty of video of dead scrub brush. Suppose I could have went that way. But that would have still put us in the same predicament. Took us across that ridge and yeah, it might have not made us through this valley, but I've already picked this. And it's still got climbing on it too, so right there, see? Gotta go up. So we'll just walk this one. It's the most direct route. We haven't been on it in a while anyway. See how it's changed. Look at the dead scrub brush. Look at how the the weeds are drying up. The cheek grasses. I hear a motorcycle. I wonder if it's gonna come try to run us over. See, it's up there someplace. You see it? I don't see it yet. Nope. I think they killed it. It's probably where those cars are for. Oh, well, the cars are gone. And they probably live someplace close to the hill where they could just fire it up and ride over. Ride down the street and you're in it. I wouldn't mind doing that with a quad. But I can't afford it. This channel's not paying, so I don't think it ever will. But we'll do the video reviews here pretty soon. I just, I gotta do something to get out. It's not movie watching time, it's hiking time. I'm getting outside doing something time. Should be working day job, but I don't have one. Can't get one. Too many people moving into the area. Women are keeping men out. Chewy wants to hire just military people. It's just a big old problem. I can't get any, I can't get the model that was gonna come work with me and marry me to come work with me. I had a whole YouTube channel series set up for that. There's a motorcycle. I think he's not coming this way. I'm having trouble climbing down this hill. I think it'd be worse going up it. Yep, he's going the same. They're going the same way we are. There's two of them. I think, those, I think those are the two we saw this morning in the earlier videos. They've been out here as long as I have. The only difference is they're on wheels and all dressed up in motorcycle apparel. And I'm just in a t-shirt, pants, silk boxers, and uh, boots. 
with a backpack on. It's a 20 pound backpack. Just trying to lose some weight myself. Looks like they're out of here. They made it down to the landing up there where we we're headed. But I don't know if we're gonna to go to the landing. I think before we climb back up to the landing, I think we're gonna make a left and follow the trail over the park. So I don't have to go do any climbing up again. Then get to the park. We'll um video always ends in the most inopportune times too. We'll uh Um, stop the video, stop recording, and I'll walk out to through the um, low income system of housing, keep all the unwed mothers in place to have their babies. They don't do it for men, but they do it for women around here, pay for the housing. And then what's going to happen is we're going to then I'll turn the video back on and we'll walk down together down uh, Lemon Valley across in front of the, the gay storage unit um, gay storage company and then uh, Red Roof Storage is the gay storage company then we'll go back to our starting point in front of the construction site and then I'll call it a good and then I'll disappear and into thin air and go back to my car and turn the AC on and enjoy the cool. I get it. I like it out here a lot during the summer, but there's got to be there's time when I just want to be inside too. Now, if I didn't have a place to be inside, then I'd deal with it. If I had to work on a ranch like I've been trying to do, trying to buy a ranch so I can work on it, the only way I'm going to get to work on a ranch is if I buy one. I can't get even Farmers Business Network to help me get into a ranch. So I guess that's something that I got to give up on. Doing. and uh, find something else to do. Is this the trail that I'm looking for? Yep, that's the trail I'm looking for. This trail will take me, yeah, no motorcycles down in there. This trail we're looking at, oh well, we'll just finish through this video all the way down through this trail. This trail we're looking for, we're looking at here is no motorcycles, no bicycles, no trucks, no jeeps, whatever, down through here. Nothing with a motor through here. So the motorcycles can't chase me down here. Well, they can, but it's illegal for them to come down through here. I think they're trying to get it to grow back over. There used to be a road. But this trail is going to go down through the valley here where I want it to go. There's another road that goes from there all the way up there. It's not been used in years too. It's almost like it's a ghost town out here. had the money I'd wonder go explore all of Nevada but you know I don't have a pickup truck don't have any way of doing it my toes are hurting so we'll keep on walking and I get out of here and my toes can get a relief in an hour or so
I think we're going to end the video series at the park. More and more I think about it at the end of this video. Probably got 10 videos already. At least nine. Maybe more. The series is getting bigger and bigger because I can walk further and further. Which is good for me. For you guys, it's probably just boring. But that's okay. Two point, um, we're getting uh, 10.9 watch hours on these videos. I don't know why, but that's what we're getting. Some of these hiking videos, they, they show the trailhead and then, it's like especially women, solo women doing it. They show the trailhead and then, I don't know, probably six hours later they show. I was trying to watch one woman doing the hiking, you know, the long through hikes. And she was, She'd show the show herself at the trailhead like it's a big deal. She made it, and then six or seven hours. Then, then the next thing you see on the video, I don't know if it's six or seven hours away, but next thing she shows a little bit of the trail. She doesn't. She's not hiking on it. She's just showing a little bit of the trail with her in the backpack. She could be faking the whole thing, driving to the point where she can walk to the trail and then do a 20-minute segment or 15-minute segment on the trail right there. Then drive into the next section and doing it. She could easily be faking the whole thing. Lots of YouTubers have done it, do it. I got some of the van life people, they do it. I was watching one guy in Portland. He lives in a motorhome or whatever, and he says he lives in a motorhome or whatever. He don't. He only lives in that motorhome for the day or the night that he's doing the video or the upgrades, like putting a wood stove in it or changing out for a new one. He don't live in that thing. He's just doing it because it pays money. He parks in his driveway at night, goes to his home bed after the video's done, just gives the illusion of people he living in it. He goes out and shows where the homeless people are actually living in it, are the homeless. But he's not. He's actually got himself a house up there he puts the thing in front of. And this is tough walking here because it's uneven. He got this cliff here, a little one, but a cliff. And my right ankle don't like it that it's twisted. Of course, it's easier on my toe, but the bottom of my foot, I'm going to give myself stone bruises as you watch. And some of these people that say they travel in um, motor RV vans, some of their secrets are just as bad, sinister. Oh, that's been washed out. Let's go up here. See? Big time washed out. Couldn't walk on the trail right there. No I know why they don't want vehicles down in here. If we're walking a wash bed, a river bed, wash out bed, creek, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, they, they fake it and they go into motel rooms or um, somebody with a bigger RV follow on them. Probably most, most of the motel rooms. There's very few van life people that actually live in that van and move along. Okay, we're at the park. I didn't make it back to with this video. We're not gonna make it back to where we started, but it is what it is. That park is a good place to finish the video. Should start the videos there, but that's a long uphill walk. It takes half my energy just to get to this park. Let's see, let's look around. There's a trail going up the hill. There's a trail down there. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit over. 
my 30 minute mark on this one. Oh well. It's getting hotter too, I think. There's the park, it's still green mostly. My backyard's not, but the park is. I don't know which way would be the fastest way down to Virginia Street. Left or right. I'm sure the phone will tell me to go right. Raft left, I mean. That's why I always go out of here anyway. We made it to the park, so we're out of here. We'll get in the video here in a minute. Change things, put things away. Sit maybe under a tree. I hear kids, I don't see kids. I hear kids. There they are. Okay, this is a good spot. All right, so we made a good walk today. Uh, I used a lot of calories, drank a lot of water. So take care, be safe. I think this is the end of the video series. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.